Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please take a moment to subscribe and join the family. Over here, we stay serving up delicious recipes that are mostly vegan and paleo and are always gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free. You'll love it here. <laughs> Today we have another recipe. This recipe is for a delicious, refreshing, non-alcoholic hibiscus drink. The drink is made from dried hibiscus leaves, which I personally find in the bulk section of my grocery store. But if you can't find it there, maybe you can find it in the regular section or you can just buy it online. In Jamaica, it's known as the Jamaican hibiscus drink. In Nigeria, it's known as the sorrel drink or more popularly as sobo. In Senegal, it's known as bisep. And I also know in Mexico, um, there's a form of this drink, but I'm not sure what the name is. So if you know what it is, please put it in the comments and educate us, okay? So different countries, different preparations, different names for this recipe, right? But today, you already know, I'm going to put my naturalista twist on it. We're making our own recipe for this that has no added sugar. It's vegan and it's naturally gluten-free. It's super delicious, refreshing, and easy to make. It's a good one, so stay around, okay? <laughs> start off, we're going to wash one cup of the dried hibiscus leaves in water. We want to wash thoroughly but quickly because we do not want too much of that beautiful red color going away with the washing. After that, we're going to add six cups of filtered water. The idea behind this drink is to rehydrate the hibiscus leaves and then get that beautiful liquid from the drink which would have the hibiscus flavor as well as that red color to make our hibiscus drink and then you can flavor sweeten and spice as desired and the fruits that we're using are pineapple orange and lemon I'm using the fruits as well as the peel so make sure to wash the um, peel thoroughly before using it and also when you're peeling the lemon and the orange make sure not to peel too deeply so that you don't take the white part with it because that will make your drink bitter in addition to the fruits i'm also adding two tablespoons of peeled ginger <music> So make sure you put in all the fruits in there and they're all submerged under the liquid as much as possible. After that, add two cinnamon sticks and 12 cloves and then put it on medium to high heat till it comes to a boil. <music> Once it does come to a boil, now you can reduce the heat to low so that it can simmer for an additional 30 minutes to one hour. So we're at that point now so we can take the pot off the heat and then let it sit for an additional two hours so that we really get all those flavors to marinate into the drink. I actually left it overnight in the fridge because I couldn't get back to it the same day. But at this point, you're pretty much ready. You just filter your drink, that is the liquid, from all the other ingredients that you used. I actually put in back the chopped fruits into the container 
after I filtered the drink because I wanted to get the maximum flavor possible from those fruits since I'm not adding any sugar or anything like that. At this point, the flavor was great for me in terms of the sweetness. But if you need additional sweetness, you can actually just make some fresh orange juice or pineapple juice and add it to the drink to your desired sweetness level. But yes, that is it. The drink is made. This is our hibiscus drink. I hope you try it and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Till the next one, guys. Bye.